They make you believe that you have to buy these expensive collagen supplements to get plump hydrated skin because you're lacking it on your animal based diet or because it's just great for your health. So let me give you a little hack that you can use to get collagen 30 times cheaper and 60 times healthier just right now. The content presented here is all fake news. Before I tell you this hack, let me preface this by saying collagen is an important supplement. Yes, this is actually one of the supplements that I think is pretty damn cool. Collagen, just biochemically, it's really important for us. Like collagen, it's the most abundant protein in the human body. It's really important. It's a structure protein. It's important for our joints. It really actually is important for our skin health. And I'm taking some form of collagen. You will learn later on which one actually pretty much every day. So is collagen a scam? No, not at all. Don't get me wrong. Collagen is great. But the issue is with the supplements because I have worked in the supplement industry and I know that many supplements are contaminated. They are laced with heavy metals. They are laced with pesticides. They are laced with the lowest quality materials imported from China just to cut out margins. So am I a guy that tells you to take a ton of supplements full of toxins? No. And that's one of the issues with the collagens. They are sometimes like 50 bucks and they still contain heavy metals. So they're the opposite of something healthy. You should not take something every day that is full of heavy metals. If you took supplements recently, then I always recommend you do a detox. One of the random detox things you can do, of course, you can always just do my detox shake. I have a whole video on that. What you can do there is like you use a mixture of cilantro, of chlorophyll based things like spirulina, chlorella, and you use some banana, you use some raw honey, you use some charcoal and all of these things. You will see more in the video. You can detox from the heavy metals. So it's not the end of the world. But do I recommend you take supplements every day that have these heavy metals? No, for sure. Is collagen great? Yes. Do we need more collagen? Yes. Are there natural? ways to get the collagen and here comes the interesting part and the reason why you're watching this video and why you should also comment on the video and like it and subscribe it so the whole world can be taken over we can heal the world together so what is the secret and i don't want to hold you longer you can just go to the supermarket and you can buy jello jello what is that thing jello you know that from your childhood maybe you had these uh, cakes i always had these childhood in germany there's these uh, strawberry cakes where you have this gelatine jello thingy on the top there's also cheesecakes that often have gelatine then there's also these fruity deserts sometimes these creamy based fruity deserts they all contain this jello and this jello what it actually is, it is collagen. This jello, these one euro 50 cent packages, they're actually collagen. So it's nothing else than the supplements you're buying on the internet. But the big difference is this stuff is classified as food. And food always has a lot of different regulations than the supplement industry. The supplement industry is very unregulated. The supplement industry is selling you stuff from China. The supplement industry is selling you stuff from there. The food industry at least has a little bit of standards. These companies, there are still more safety controls around it because there would be a lot of bigger scandals if they were not safe. And the, the testing there is a lot more than the supplements. So that's something I can recommend you. And this jelly, you can do the coolest things with that. You can do these jello, wibbly green things, you know. My favorite is actually Wildmeister or cherries. You can do them naturally, but you can also, as I mentioned, you can bake yourself cheesecakes out of it. You can put it in your desserts. You can put it on fruits. You can make it in all kinds of things in your daily life. And it also doesn't taste as bad. In my experience, the jello from the supermarket, they taste a lot better than the collagen supplements. They always taste like beef ass. So that's kind of the first recommendation I have to you. And then the second recommendation for that, you have to understand a tiny little bit of biochemistry. So what is collagen? Collagen actually is a protein made of different amino acids of proline, of lysine, and I have to look at, and also of glycine. And they are built up by the body. Your body always has amino acids. Everything we eat that has protein has these amino acids usually. Just glycine is sometimes lacking. Glycine is only available if you're eating things like bones, if you're eating things like joints. If you're eating organs, all these things, they contain a lot of glycine. But the glycine is very rarely in the muscle meats and also very rarely in like the stuff we eat usually. So glycine, we are kind of lacking. Cool little fun fact. Glycine is actually also available as a supplement. And glycine as a supplement tastes exactly like crystal sugar. Like it tastes one to one like normal sugar. It's crazy. Don't ask me why, but it's crazy. But you can actually use it as a supplement to um, sweeten your tea. If you put it in your chamomile tea in the evening, you can put it inside there. It actually stimulates GABA in your brain. GABA is the neurotransmitter that makes you sleep. So this is a really, really, really great hack. If you want to improve your sleep, you just take one gram of the glycine, put it in your chamomile tea, drink that half an hour, an hour before you sleep. And this will make you sleep through the whole night because it induces the sleep. Never use melatonin. I really am a huge enemy of melatonin. Melatonin is your most important sleep hormone. It's produced by your pineal gland. Yeah, the pineal gland exists. Look it up. It's even on Wikipedia. Not that Wikipedia is a source, but the pineal gland produces the melatonin. And why would you play around with your neuroendocrine hormones? You should never do that. I am not a friend of melatonin. I will never recommend anybody to take melatonin, but the chamomile plus glycine is great. So what was the point I was making? We are always looking this glycine in our diet. And this is why some people are taking the collagen supplements, but some people are also just eating a moderate diet that contains a lot of things. Like sometimes they eat some liver, sometimes they eat some bone broth. Eating a whole chicken is a great hack, by the way, too. I don't know why they're always 
devilizing the, the, the whole chickens and they're only eating meat. But whole chickens, including the skin, and sometimes eating even these little organ pieces and the blood vessels and stuff, that's a great source of glutes. And it's, I would argue it's healthier than eating a steak. Arguably, it's healthier than just eating the pure muzzle meat because a whole chicken is the whole thing. You're eating everything. You're getting the whole amino acid. So eat more whole chickens is probably a secret third tip that I didn't even mention at the beginning that you just learned. Just make sure that the chicken is pasture raised. There's honestly huge quality difference between the factory farm chickens. Also, those chickens are so sad, honestly. It makes me, it makes my heart sad. I'm not a, not a huge animal guy, even though I have two cats, but honestly, these chickens that are mass produced, they are stressed out. They get the shittiest soy corn, GMO fat food that is not healthy. So if you're eating the whole chicken, then get it from a good source. I know it's a few bucks more expensive, but your health should be worth it and the moral of the animals should also be worth it. So get those whole chickens and the whole chicken is a great collagen source. So we're lacking this glute sign. But if you're eating enough of the glucin, then what you can do is just take more vitamin C and eat vitamin C rich fruits. That could be acerola, that could be pomegranate, that could be oranges, that could be lemons, lemon, lemon water in the morning is always a great hack. I recommend everybody. But by doing that vitamin C actually directly stimulates the collagen synthesis. So if you're taking in more vitamin C, then this will help your body regenerate even more vitamin C. And what you can also do is take more vitamin E because vitamin E, what does it do? Vitamin E directly stimulates the recovery of the vitamin C because both of these are working antioxidative in your body. They're working on the redox system. So there's always oxidation and reduction and these, these processes are always coupled to each other. So if you have more vitamin E, you will also retain more vitamin C in your body. So we are talking about vitamin C now to improve your collagen synthesis. And that is already honestly the most important things you have to take from this video. The first point I was making is that collagen supplements, like most supplements often sadly are overpriced. They have huge profit margins and sadly they're also full of toxics. So make sure that the stuff you're getting is definitely 100% toxin free. Toxin free is the most important quality indicator for supplements in general. Every supplement you are taking, you always need to ask yourself that question. Like I'm taking supplements every single day, but then if these supplements are contaminated with heavy metals, if their supplements are contaminated like whey protein with anabolics or something, then you're actually destroying your body. And isn't that ironic? You're taking something, you're paying money for it to improve your health, but you're actually poisoning yourself. And honestly, arguably, the biggest issue we are facing these days is not taking in enough healthy substances. We are getting enough nutrients from everything. The biggest issue we are facing is that we're taking in too many toxins, too many toxins from the environment, from the poisoned air, from the plastics around us, from the clothes. That's why I'm always wearing lining clothes because lining clothes, they don't release microtoxins in my body all the time. That's why I'm always wearing copper and putting copper jewelry on my body because all of this stuff at least reduces some of the toxic EMFs and all these things. I'm not sponsored by any of those. No worries. I'm not sponsored by anything or anybody. So that's kind of the first point. Supplements, make sure that if you're taking them, why are you even taking them? Are they really healthy? Do you really need that collagen supplement? Then the thing is I'm taking about collagen is a great supplement. I always recommend everybody to get more collagen. You could take the supplement if it's a good source, but you could also just take jello from the supermarket, make yourself some cheesecake, make yourself some jello cream, make yourself some fruity jello desserts. You could also eat more whole chickens. Always make sure that the chicken is pasteurized and you can get more vitamin C rich foods in your diet. Now, let me stop this video with a little disclaimer. Everybody that wants to learn more about nutrition, you're always welcome to share this video with your friends and your family. You're always welcome. I'm trying to never do any advertisements. I'm not sponsored by any brands. That's why I always completely objectively tell you the truth and how it is. So if you enjoy these stuff, then please do me a favor and share the stuff and comment. And uh, I love you and Fabian out.